theorist from M, uh, from the managing director TV Narendran, who says that the European business has seen worse days in the past because of which there was a slowdown in growth. But he is attributing the slack in the European business this time around to the influx of steel from other countries like Turkey. Although he's confident that the India business will further shine as the automotive demand picks up. Let's listen in. As you know, over the last uh, few days, there's been uh, some noise about steel prices. Uh, we're waiting to see what happens after the Chinese New Year, uh, what the sentiment globally. International prices have gone up by uh, $15, $20 in the last uh, couple of weeks. And uh, the accident in uh, Wale in Brazil has also pushed up the iron ore prices. So I think there are cost pressures uh, which are coming into everyone. And uh, we expect that that should play out over the next uh, few weeks. But just now, given uh, what we've seen so far, given uh, uh, what we have for Q3, I think the forecast is around uh, 3,000 to 3,000 to 3,000 per ton If you look at Europe, yes, things are slowed down, but it's not shrinking. It is uh, positive growth. It's uh, instead of maybe 1.7, 1.8 percent, it's come down to about 1 percent or so. So yeah. you know, uh, uh, it's not shrinking in that sense. And uh, so to that extent, uh, we have seen worse days. So it's not that uh, uh, you know, it's stable, if I can say so. So uh, the impact is a little bit more uh, driven by the fact that uh, material is coming into Europe from Turkey and uh, countries like that who are not able to sell into the U.S. The European EU has taken some steps uh, on safeguard measures, which uh, will give us some comfort.